Okay, friends, I uh, thought to uh, make a uh, very quick video about uh, the cycling partners and CDKs and uh, uh, and the phase of the cell cycle where it becomes activated. Now, here I found a chart actually. So, this chart says all. So, I'm just uh, reading this chart for you guys that uh, we can see that uh, during the cell cycle phases uh, from the G1, AS, G2, and throughout the mitotic cell cycle phases, we are having different types of cycline proteins because cyclines are really important. And we have some cycline dependent kinase proteins w which we call the CDKs. Now, this cycline along with cycline dependent kinase proteins activate many different situations of cell cycle, many different phenomena regarding the cell cycle. Actually, this cycline and CDK partner complex. Uh, co complex uh, partner actually are controlling the cell cycle in vigorously various ways so now in this case we are looking at some of uh, important CDKs and their cycling partners because the cycling CDKs are actually depend upon the cyclines okay now if we look at some of the um, most important ones not not all of them so CDK4 uh, we can have the cycling partners are CD uh, cycling D are there so D1, D2, D3 so normal cycling D with CDK4 and CDK6 now they have mostly active uh, they become mostly active, active during G1 phase of cell cycle we have cycling E just before uh, that uh, just after that cycling deactivation so we need have the pass uh, the, the cycling uh, CDK2 is the CDK and the cycling partner is cycling E uh, activation point is G1 S phase transition so the presence of this cycling E as well as CDK2 is really important during the G1 S phase transition then we are having cycling CDK2 again along with uh, the cycling partner CD cycling A it can uh, bypass uh, the S phase and G2 phase so it's much more active during the S phase the whole S phase and the start point of the G2 phase and also it is activated uh, during the SG2 transition and most importantly the SDC transition is also controlled by another CDK this is called CDC2 in case of fission uh, yeast but in case of uh, budding yeast we have CDC28 or CDC25 in many cases in mitosis phase also we have cycling B and cycling B along with the CDK1 now CDK1 is much more active with the cycling B and it travels throughout travels the cell or takes the cell throughout the mitosis cell division and finally leads to uh, till uh, the anaphase uh, promoting complex arrives okay so these are the different layers of CDK proteins and their cycling partners and where they work so it's a sequential manner of D E A and V and D 4 6 E CDK 2 A CDK 2 and 1 B is CDK 1 only so this is a uh, the way of arranging the CDKs and so in each step when the CDK activity is done uh, some of those uh, almost most of that that CDK is being uh, degraded using the proteasome system inside the cell so so that's a common process but still a minute level of CDK always remains inside the cytoplasm of a cell because that is almost needed in many situations e to revive back, back the situation so that's it I hope that's gonna help you thank you